Good morning, Bruce here. September 10th, 2023. And we all remember what tomorrow is. Never forget. But today we're here to fry some chicken. The lazy man's way. You know me, I'm not a big fan of cleaning. So, if there's an easier way to do it, yeah, I'll find it. So we want to fry up some chicken without making much of a mess. Cool. Let me zoom down here. You've seen this beautiful face long enough. Show me the cooking, Bruce. Never mind ham boning it up for the camera. Alright, okay. cutting board fryer in view. Lines level, way yeah, close enough. What? It's YouTube for crying out loud. Okay. Now, once again, I'm kind of lazy. I don't do much cleaning. So, things I can do ahead of time, I'll do. Take, for instance, we're doing fried chicken. I need a coating. Well, I make my coating up ahead of time. In one of my old spice containers. What do we have here today? We've got about two parts flour, one part cornstarch. Gives a little extra crisp to it with the cornstarch. And then I use some of my salt, pepper, garlic rub for the barbecue video on that like that segue a video on that for that recipe mix it together now I've got my coating for now in the future okay Bruce well you said you don't want to clean much so what's going on uh, oh. well I'll tell you what when I was a kid I was raised on shake and bake Mom, it's shake and bake, and I help. Oh, oh, close. Uh, guys and ladies, get yourself a nice meat thermometer or a cheap one, as long as it works. We're going for 165 internal temp on our chicken. Also, for the oil, get a nice oil thermometer. You got to know what the temp is. You don't want to get the smoke point and release toxin and never mind. I go for 350. Beautiful temp. All right, back to the low muss and fuss. Okay, I've got my chicken. Obviously, I took out a couple pieces. So here's what I do. Don't rag on me about wasting plastic, please. It's too late. I grab it. And now I can pick up the chicken. without getting my hands chickeny and drop it into the bag and we'll do the other one reach in ah, grab it with the plastic I haven't touched the chicken low muss and fuss now add some of our mixture just enough. Don't have to waste. Save it for the future. Cover the bag. There you go. Shake and bake. Come on, guys. It doesn't get any easier than that. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Oh yeah, getting up there. Oh, 
We're there. Cool. Timing. Timing is everything. Of course, well drain. Here we go. Now we got to add. And we'll reverse the process. The way we got it in there. Uh, Do, 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 do. Shaky, shaky, waggy, waggy. There you go. Okay. I'm not going to save this. I'm not going to save that. And voila, what do you know? Clean up my cutting board, maybe a knife. Other than that, that chicken's ready to go. <laughs> oh, get you some. No, I'm not gonna pick it up and grab it. Steaming the hot chicken. Oh, that looks good. All right. And that does it today. Quick and easy. I've got future minimal cleanup. And I'm going to get something to eat. And in about 15 minutes, that will be ready. Of course, people always ask in cooking, well, how much time does it take? How much? Never mind the time. Temperature, temperature, temperature. Ugh. And that's it. Easy. Oh, yeah. Instead of soybean, I do kind of use peanut oil. That doesn't make any difference. Whatever you like. Some people avoid the soybean, claiming increased estrogen buildup. Got me. I'm not a doctor. I'm a chicken cooker. Well, folks, as always, been fun. Cook it safe. And as always, drink more shine and eat more <laughs> bacon. See ya.